bits of golf clubs which we didn't have before. Super Day, there's the Golden Gate Bridge. Glorious sight. Wrong time of year to leave, I guess. Plane. We are in Auckland on February the 8th. It's a little windy up here on Lone Tree Hill with old Mari Fort. It turned into a park. like San Francisco. Lots of water. Welcome New Zealand. Night. It's a stiff breeze and you're looking across from the little town of Devonport to the town of Auckland. You see one of the ferry boats which ply to all of the little islands around here. It's a lovely yacht basin. This is Monday morning about 9 a.m. and we're headed north out of Auckland. February 9th. February 9th. 40 minutes north of Auckland, we came to the little town of Orwa on the coast. You can see how crowded the beaches are in New Zealand. Just a beautiful spot with lots of offshore islands, calm water. Real pretty February day. There's Barbara doing her thing. Just north of Araya, we turned off of Highway 1 and uh, went into Puhoi. Here's the local town library. Puhoi was established in 1876. Here's the main building in town. And over here is the general store. That's the Spoolhawk Hotel. Which is also the post office. Population probably about 14.
find out how the New Zealand telephone system works. This part of New Zealand is subtropical in vegetation. As you can see from these pine uh, palm trees. When you get to the end of the road, this is what you see, Eckhart's Bay. We've come quite a ways out on a road called Wanganui Heads, and this is no exit when you get here. Here towards the north tip of the North Island, there's the Bay of Islands and this little town of Pahia where we tonight at a board and breakfast place. Nobody around. We have the beach all to ourselves. There's the entrance to the bay. Looking out towards the Bay of Islands here at Pahia. Wind is blowing pretty good here. Back towards the town. Pahia, looking out over the bay, a beautiful sailboat coming in right there beyond Barbara. Let's see if we can catch a glimpse of it as it goes by. It is quite a spot. Looks like the HMS Bounty. Yeah. We're going to get a beautiful sunrise in the morning. Look at that sailboat. Well, they're going into that cove over there. It's 6.30. On February 10th, and here we are getting ready this morning to head north to the furthest north tip of the North Island of New Zealand. Looking out towards the east, the sun is not up yet, but it's a beautiful sight as we look across the bay. These people stayed on their yacht overnight. Sunrise at Pahia Bay, Pahia, in the Bay of Islands. We're off to a big adventure to the north. Uh, he came up here in 1947 to uh, buy that, and he was dropped off by the uh, road service. The service coach just here inside the hotel, and a short couple hundred yards walk back there. Just at closing time of the hotel in the uh, evening. 
and uh, in that short walk back to have a look at his new uh, garage, he was asked three times if he wanted a fight. Down the back road, North Park, 90 Mile Beach, North Park, North Mile. South Pacific Ocean, this is the spot where we had our lunch, steak barbecue. northernmost tip of New Zealand. About 72 degrees, a very pleasant day. And that's the South Pacific. At this point, in the North Island, the Pacific Ocean and the Tasman Sea meet. You can see the waves coming from opposite directions and crashing together. They passed here, called that Tech Rear Van Diemen after some uh, Dutch Queen or something. What a push here. This is the Tasman Seaside. Yeah. Cape Ring got a lighthouse. There's one of our intrepid party hiking down to the beach, and that's a long way. On the horizon are the Three Kings Islands, a bird sanctuary similar to the Fairlands off of San Francisco. You just barely make them out on the horizon. I don't know if we'll see them on this film. Hi, Barb. Stand right on the point. Who that is following me? Landing around, going down to 90 Mile Beach. A little bit of different country here. Farmland.
cry right home here. <laughs> it's here. Uh, the area you see here is a reserve now that will remain uh, unplanted so uh, everybody can see what it used to look like. And the hole in the rock ahead of us. See way out on the tip of a point here. These birds migrate to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia for their first year of life. Stay there about three years and then come back here and stay the rest of their life. Here in New Zealand. They nest in this area and then uh, during the balance of the year they migrate up and down the coast and come back here to nest again. The darker colored ones are this year's hat. They're about four weeks away from flying to Australia. Pretty bird. There's one of the adults. It's getting a little windy and rainy here now. There's another colony down on a lower cliff. There the young ones are getting their wings activated ready to start flying. Another colony looking down on them from a point on a string of rocks that extend well out into the bay.
we were up on top of that cliff to see the first rookeries. What do you see, Barbara? What do you see? Here in Topo, we're watching a lawn bowling match. It's a short distance from our hotel and the golf course is this geothermal field which has been in production for over 30 years. A little fishing this morning, February 16th. Come on, catch one, John. Got a big one on, Barb. One now, Barb. How you doing? side of the crater. And in the background is just the peak of the main skiing area in the North Island that has snow the year round. 
Here on the North Island, we're looking at Ruhapeho at 9,000 feet. It is the skiing area. Just to its north, we come to a magnificent uh, volcanic uh, peak with a crater in the top, Nagarejo, 7,500 7, feet. And then the third of the three Tongariro. is Tongariro. Right. 6,400 feet. 6, feet, the one in which we saw the steam vents on the side height. Combine your golfing and your skiing, here's the spot. And Barbara, standing on the golf course. There's the Chateau Tangaviro with the mountain in the background. This is in late summer. The snow is down around the chateau in the winter. It's quite an edifice built in 1929. Old world elegance. A Maori school located in the town of Tang or Runui or something. <laughs> High in the mountain south of Lake Tapau, you see these old stumps with all kinds of orchid plants in them. Orchids aren't in bloom at this time of year. They must be a sight to behold during their blooming season. This is the Waiatua lookout, and Barbara's standing up, looking over the whole valley. We'll go up there and take a look. Here's a sweep of the whole area. Lake Tapu is off to our left. Crazy today. This is the Tahoe. New Zealand, Acacia Bay on Lake Tapo. Tapo. A very pretty spot. The fascinating aspects of the New Zealand countryside are the thousands and thousands of acres that have been reforested in uh, pine. These are in various stages of development, as you can see here along the road, from well matured trees to those that are being planted. This is all computerized, and uh, they trim the trees to the lower branches so that the trees grow straight with few knots. The computer program provides them with information as to when the trees are going to be harvestable in about uh, 25 years after planting. We fished this morning and then drove up to Rotorua and stopped for tea. It's our luncheon spot. Those aren't the fish we caught. We're in Rotorua at the Fleur Orchid Garden. It took 15 years to make this collection the largest in the 
sad ajmo, ne nas pijemo. Oh, they're perfect. Here in Rotorua, in 1910, this is probably a pretty hot spot. With lots of activity on a Sunday afternoon. The only thing going on today is a game of bowls. As we look over here, there's not even a croquet game here at the croquet club. But it's a pretty, pretty garden and an interesting area. Played most of our golf here at the Wairaki uh, golf course. It's a lovely 18-hole course. Barbara's best score was a 78, mine was an 85. This is the 18th green with the 9th green in the background. Look on the hole. It's a pretty good putt, Barbara. Here's the main product of New Zealand. Dogs are fantastic. <coughs> Driving through a national park on the North Island in Wiarao Forest, we came across this magnificent waterfall. Not a soul around, we're really out in the woods. Dirt road. We're on a dirt road which we've been following for quite a few miles. There's a picture of the lake. Over to our right we can see the lake that the river is running into. It's uh, about uh, 15 miles long. Oh, yeah. it's a typical New Zealand bar scene. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha